Stages like this, um, I'm definitely more switched on and I know that I have a... To see Wout Van Ert, the world cycle, a former world cycle cross champion, just shredding the field, putting grimaces on the face of Egan Bernal, Mikel Kwiatkowski, the best riders in the world. I, it was really just a sight to behold. Yeah, this is, you know, kind of the fruition of some uh, just talking amongst the riders that I was hearing last year. I spoke with Lachlan Morden uh, last year towards the end of the season, and he was telling me about a breakaway that he was in with Wout Van Aert in a really, really mountainous one week race. And he just could not believe the way that Wout Van Aert was uh, climbing with climbers in this breakaway. You know, you, you think of a guy like Lachlan Morden and Wout Van Aert, they could not have possibly any greater different body types. Uh, Lachlan Morden looks like a greyhound, so skinny Wout Van Aert. He's, he's a classics rider. He looks like a tank. He's this big guy, but he can climb unbelievably well. And what we saw him do with three kilometers uh, to go to the finish today on this climb, who's shredding people out the back. He was really the second to last man standing for Yumbo Visma. Wavener did an incredible turn, then Sepp Kuss took over. And, you know, if you were watching the Criterium du Dauphiné, what you saw was, it was no surprise. Sepp Kuss is proving that he is, you know, at, at the moment, the best domestique in the mountains in the game right now. 